morning. Welcome to Vlogmas Day 16. <laughs> because this is where I sit when I'm really stressed out and I have a lot on my mind and I just sit here and Daisy's there and Momo's here and they just surround me while I spiral. <laughs> so this morning, hello queen, we woke up and got the vlog up already and then I've just been dealing with all this crazy house stuff. I'm sure you know by now, but my house did flood two days ago and I've been trying to go through and show, oh, <laughs> the microphone's not plugged in. I'm gonna lose it today. So I've been making many calls. I had an appointment this morning about something for the house and I'm stressed mostly because we get no rain in LA. Like, trust me, I love rain. I wish it rained all the time. And tell me why next week during Christmas we are scheduled for rain the entire week that I have holes in my ceiling. So that's a little stressful and they definitely won't be able to patch them up before then, especially because of the holidays. So that is the update. The next update I'll give you is uh, when it's all done, I promise. I won't talk about it anymore, but that's my morning. My stairs are consoling me and I'm gonna take a really nice long hot shower with all my favorite products and really, really treat myself, treat yourself this morning because I deserve it. Okay, shower time, let's go, I need it. Also, Ollie just said something to me and I ran upstairs to get my camera. What did you say, bitch? <laughs> I said, you're so rich and hot and famous. <laughs> Tell them what you actually said. Her skin looks so good. Like, your skin looks really flawless right now. Thank you so feeling, much. Feeling very glowing. If you wanna see why, go look at my vlog from yesterday. Nighttime routine, I showed you all my products and no joke, my skin, feel how soft and buttery it feels. Oh, it really is so it's soft. Nice. It's so soft. It's, it's really firm. Oh, it's like a you. drum. <laughs> <laughs> I'm making Ollie a matcha latte this morning. Please, no, 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 please. Not, not a matcha latte. An Emma Chamberlain coffee. A Chamberlain matcha. coffee matcha. Please keep in mind, last night Ollie told me that he loves matcha and he wants to try Emma Chamberlain's matcha. I said, okay, I'll make you a matcha latte tomorrow. Then he just told his vlog right now like this. <laughs> I don't really like matcha, but I love <laughs> Emma Chamberlain. So. No, I. Okay, I like matcha in theory. I like watching people make matcha. Matcha in theory, but do you like enjoying matcha? Yeah, I'm sure I'll love this. Okay. It's Emma's. So we've got <laughs> our, in our little Arochino from Nespresso, I put in oat milk and a little oh. bit of this vanilla cream stevia drops. I put a lot actually because he right likes now. he likes it sweet, he said. So I love over ice, <gasps> I pour our oat milk foam. Oh, the ice cracking. I already prepped some this morning in this little Air One mm, glass. Of course it's an Air One. I put, I actually cold <laughs> steeped it. So I put the matcha in cold water and then I just use my little whisker thing and then it's here. Let me whisk it one more time so it's good. This Nut Pods one is the best one that I've ever used. I don't know if they sell it, but if they do, you should buy it. Look at this. It's so powerful. Oh, oh, Miss Remy Matcha. Miss Remy Matcha. It tastes so good. I'm telling you guys, this is the best matcha I've ever tried. I also posted an Emma replied to me and I you cried gotta stop fangirling because she's gonna think I'm really uncool but, <laughs> but I love her so much okay we're gonna oh, pour oh yes now that's satisfying <laughs> this is mostly milk with a little bit of matcha I love it already which is what you like metal straw for Miss Ooh. Chamberlain vlog section okay and taste test Ooh, I love it oh good oh Shout my god out. I actually really like it <laughs> Yeah, it's so good. Would you make it at home? Yeah. Oh, good. It's okay. so refreshing. Well, I'm so excited that you love it. I'm gonna show them how I made my matcha this morning. All right, I already downed this entire jug this morning. Also, this helps with your skin as well. Matcha is so good for your skin. When I drink it consistently, my skin, it just feels so like soft. Obviously, there's antioxidants and also it's just water mostly. It's like water-based, so it's great for your skin, obviously. So this is how I made it this morning. I'm just gonna put more ice in here. I love a matcha latte as much as the next girl, but I prefer fruity matcha drinks. So this is how I made mine this morning. I'm gonna have another one, I guess, right now. Yeah. You put the matcha in the glass. Might as well finish it all. Look how green that is. I actually put way too much into my cup this morning, which is why I made more on the side because I had so much excess. And I saw that Chamberlain coffee is also available on Amazon now, so highly recommend. The coffee is amazing too, but the matcha's out of this world for me. And then to make it a little 
fruity. This is no sugar, unsweetened, caffeine free, so it's not too much caffeine. You're not gonna buzz. This is the Tazo Unsweetened Ice Passion Concentrate. So if you go to Starbucks and you get a passion tea lemonade, which used to be my favorite thing in the world, this is the base for that. You can also get like the passion tea tea bags, the hot tea, but this is the concentrated version. So when I add a little bit of this or a lot of it to my matcha, pour it in like that much or so, and there's no sugar or anything. It's just water and tea. It just adds like a light floral sweetness to it without, you know, making it sugary. You can always add sugar or stevia if you want, but I like mine unsweetened. And it's so nice if you want that little bit of caffeine, you can just add matcha to it and it still keeps that tea base. I got this at Whole Foods, but I believe they sell it at Target and probably Amazon and stuff too. And it's also like really cold outside, so I love that we're drinking ice drinks. Yay! I'm gonna shower for real now. Go Momo, go Momo, go Momo, go Momo. <laughs> you want a treat? <gasps> run, 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 much better, nothing like a nice luxurious shower to cheer you up a bit. So, I wanted to show you guys the products that I used. Today I used my Olaplex Bond Maintenance Shampoo and Conditioner. This smells amazing, so I used these on my hair. Then on the body, I used this Tree Hut Tropic Glow Firming Sugar Scrub. I'm really into this brand right now. It smells so good. I use it to just scrub my body. It makes my body feel really nice and soft. Apparently it firms. I don't know if that's true or not, but it smells nice and I like the exfoliating Benefits for body wash. I'm obsessed with this body wash. You can get anything in this line. It is incredible This one is the Olay cleansing and firming B3 plus collagen one. They have a hyaluronic acid one I've gone through many bottles every one of them smells amazing. I keep this in my shower I keep this in the guest shower and last but not least in the shower for products This is what I use on my nether regions. I cannot tell you enough. Do not use summer's eves products What is that brand called summer summer's eve summer's eve? Yes, I'll spare you the details, but it was not good for me and I got you know, some things that, that were hard to deal with. And then obviously you're not supposed to use anything like scented down there. So I switched to this. It's really, really, really gentle. This is the Dove Instant Foaming Body Wash. I just use this to clean down there and I've never had an issue with it. I always feel really nice and clean and refreshed after. And again, no UTIs. So I highly recommend this if you also have the same issue as I do. Okay, now for the hair. Woo, hair is out of the towel. I think someone's here, BRB. Updates were good. It was just cow. Okay. For my hair, when it's wet, I love, love, love this product. This is the Redken One United All-in-One Multi-Benefit Treatment. I just use this as a detangler, especially with extensions. They get gnarly. If you can see it like pieces up like this. Okay, I put a liberal amount and then I just got this brush recently. This is from Goody. I got it at Nordstrom Rack. This thing's really cool. I heard you have to be very careful with it though because it can mold, which makes sense. I absolutely swear by wet brushes. I have also copious amounts of wet brushes. They're amazing, but this one is made specifically for wet hair if you can see sorry my hair is in it But there's like terry cloth like a towel almost in there and it's supposed to help with when your hair was wet It absorbs some of that wetness. It's still pretty new to me, but I like it so far But again, you have to leave it aerated so that it doesn't grow mold But I just kind of gently brush through the hair after my showers. I think today we're gonna do the air wrap on the hair I'm feeling a little blowout moment. There we go brush through there. All right, let's do the air wrap Okay guys, my hair takes forever, but we're officially ready for the day. I did the blowout, it looks so good. Did my makeup, just my usual makeup look. For my outfit, I'm wearing this top that's from Parallel Apparel, the little two zipper top, you can zip it like this. You can also open it from the bottom. I can't do it with one hand, but you can like meet it in the middle if you want. But if you got big boobs like me, you can't do that. But I love the way that this looks. It's so soft, it's comfortable. It's got little thumb holes and it's double lined. So it's 
extra comfy. I'm wearing my Miss Remy Ashton overreacted sweatpants. I got so many questions from you guys as to if I'm able to restock the sweatpants and the zip up, and we're trying to. It's just really hard to source blanks right now. So they're looking to find more. I will keep you guys updated, and if anything, I'm just gonna do a new color combo. So I'll keep you updated. But that is the fit of the day. Comfy, cozy. Thank you, Ollie's just sitting there chilling. And I need to eat because I haven't eaten yet, and I'm very hungry. Let's go. Okay, we are back. It is lightly sprinkling outside and I'm a little nervous. I do have to say, I think that it's gonna take a lot of rain, like a lot, a lot of rain. Like we went two years without issues to have it start leaking again, but you know, I really don't know. You know, maybe I'm wrong. I made myself some food. We've got two eggs here, yummers, and then a piece of avocado toast on Dave's Killer Bread. And I figured now would be the perfect time to do our small business haul because I've been waiting for this one. I accidentally prematurely opened this up and then I stuck it back in the closet because I realized what it was. Gotta That's change fine. the battery. All right, we're back. So this is a return of a small business from last year because I truly love it so much. And let me show you the remnants from last year. This product right here changed my life. I now have to store it upside down just to save the last bits. I have to give a shout out because not only is the product amazing, also the people that own this company are so, 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 so sweet. So I got this last year. I use it in so much cooking, so many recipes that I make all the time and I needed a replenishment. So I ordered this <laughs> many of them and this will hopefully last me more than a year now. Miss Remy Luxury Haul. Miss Remy Luxury Haul. So I ordered, personally my favorite is the mild. The hot is really good. It's only a little bit hotter, but but I'm sometimes a little bit of a baby back bitch, so I like the mild. So I got not only one, not only two, not only three, not only four, but five of the milds. Also, fun fact, honey is like the one thing in the world that actually never expires, so I truly can use this for the rest of my life. And I've gone through about half of the other hot ones, so I just got one more to have as backup. They also have things like peanut butter, they have like a peach salsa, they're all super delicious, but the honey is my favorite. And why I thought this would be perfect to share is because I like to add honey to my avocado toast, specifically hot honey. It tastes so good. All I did was put a little avocado on. I'm gonna do a light drizzle of honey. Oh my God, it's so so good. Little drizzle, 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 drizzle. And then to keep it simple, I also add a little flaky salt right on top. Nice little sprinkle of this. And to make it even spicier, I like to add a little bit of red pepper flakes. And that is my perfect avocado toast. I like it simple. I like the eggs on the side. I like to just focus on the avocado and the flavors of the uh, honey. Mm-hmm, mm. The sweetness from the honey adds so much. It's incredible. If you've never tried it, try it. I'll leave AR's Hot Southern Honey link down below. Check them out. You won't regret it, I promise. All right, it is sprinkling and we are going to <laughs> Costco. Costco has the best like pre-made little gift baskets and I wanna get some. I wanna get one for Omri, the nice man who's been helping me with my ceilings. I wanna get one for Chai Ming who helped me build my garden. The There's a lot of people here. Surprisingly, even though it's raining, I feel like in my head, everything's cleared out when it's raining, but not at Costco. We're just gonna get some cute little small gift things oh, for them. No, All right. We are in Costco. They have the amazing cookies, which are a really good option for a gift. They also have these like little popcorn Santa bags. These are cute. So many Christmas things. They got Crocs here, but not Crocs. They're called Joy Bees. 19.97. What a deal. I learned recently we probably should have a wet vacuum, and they have one at Costco. That looks. Huge. That looks like R2-D2. Cal's advising we get a wet back. Give us a nod, baby. Give us a nod. <laughs> Remy. I'm taking the display. Just <laughs> I was about to say, I think you're supposed to take the box one. <laughs> this would be a good thumbnail, though. I do need new Tide Pods. I love Tide Pods. They're the best. <sighs> Oh no. Asian Girl Squad is also doing a white elephant exchange. So I need to find a gift for that. And I don't know what to get. A big Squishmallow. I want to get a Squishmallow, but only Lauren will want that. But maybe some alcohol. <gasps> I couldn't find the Parmesan cheese and I'm realizing it's here. This is my favorite brand. Oh my God, I you love a Stroop Waffle. They're so good. Stroop Waffle ice cream. That looks so coffee. good. I haven't seen Tang since I was a kid. I think there used to be an orangutan on there. Am I wrong? I'm pretty sure that he was a spokesperson. Also update, we went where the gift baskets normally are and we can't find one anywhere. So I don't know what happened this year, but hopefully they're just in a different section. Sad, sad day sad, for Miss Remy Luxury. <laughs> We've got liquid IV 
and vital proteins collagen. They also have a chocolate collagen, which I didn't know existed, and it sounds interesting. There's literally one big one left, and someone ripped the top off of it, so I think that's it. And then these are the only other options. It's like a little charcuterie one, so they've got cheese, olives, little crackers, mustard. It still is cute, but not everyone likes charcuterie boards, so I was trying to find other options, but these are still cute. Okay, so they have chocolate boxes here, but I also found these gift cards that are two $25 gift cards for $38.99, so I was like, maybe I'll just buy a couple of these and go to Seas Candy and get some good candy because Seas Candy is amazing. So I think I'm gonna do that. All right, quick pit stop at Seas Candy to pick up some boxes and I got my gift cards and I want a Scotch Mellow. All right, we got our box. Oh, we just got fireworks and they've got their, their pre-made tins, truffles, little assorted chocolates. These are the best, ooh, yum. We've got our assorted chocolate box gifts and then these are my personal favorites from being a kid so good it's honeycomb and chocolate i have to get this <gasps> i'm gonna get this for my mom too my mom always had c's candy lollipops in her purse growing up <laughs> and now i love them too because of her specifically the caramel one is the best or the vanilla i love it heart shaped peanut butter it's like a reese's peanut butter cup oh my god the lady that helped us out was so nice she was so cute and I was like, I'm so sorry because I had those four gift cards from Costco. I was like, I'm so sorry for inconveniencing you. Four gift cards is a lot. And she was like, sweetie. I had a man come in yesterday with 30 gift cards. This is a walk in the park. Oh, I wonder if they have the kisses here. Mint truffle, milk, sugar cookie. Okay, do they not make these peppermint ones anymore? <gasps> but they have Grinch ones. I'm just convinced they don't make peppermint kisses anymore. If anybody works at Hershey's, please let me know. Okay. Hello? You never know what this is. Hello? 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 Uh, <laughs> I've been looking for a new taupe, like a matte taupe cream shadow. I think this one from Rebel looks good. Is it? I can't tell if it's matte, but it's called espresso and it looks nice. I'm gonna try it to make my eyeshadows pop. Oh my God. My mom used to have these. I didn't know they still sold them. This one reminds me so much of my mom. I'd always steal it from her makeup bag as a kid. Love you, mom. We're home making dinner. I've got this pot going to boil the ravioli. This is my new Our Place pan. I'm obsessed with these Always pans, you guys. And they dropped this light blue color. It just came in today. I just washed it, and I'm gonna use it to poach the lobster in. Yay! Okay, ravioli are boiling in the water. I took the lobster tails out, rinsed them in cold water so they stop cooking, and then sliced it up, and they look amazing. That's so much lobster meat, my God. And now, in my garlic and onions, I put in a can of tomato paste from Costco, and I'm just frying this up, and then we're gonna add our cream, season it, and make a delicious pink sauce to serve with everything. Ravioli, ravioli, give me the formioli. I strained the ravioli, put cold water on it, and then I made this sauce. So I added in the can of tomato paste and let that fry up, and then I added in, I'm just eyeballing everything, honestly. I added in some heavy whipping cream, and I have quite a bit of pasta water that I kept before I strained the pasta, salt, pepper, and then our Parmesan cheese from Costco. I actually forgot the vodka for the vodka sauce, so this is just a pink sauce, I guess. <laughs> Good. Too salty. Need to add more pasta water. Dinner is served. Laura's here. She's playing with Momo. Yummers. We were laying on the squishmallows <laughs> if you can't tell. We were laying. We were laying on the squishmallows. We are here. Laura's here. I finally just gave her her hat that I got for her on Black Friday. She's so happy. Took me long enough. And her anxiety mug. And we're doing a Starbucks taste test. Thank God. Wow, Ooh. it's lit. Decaf though, don't worry, because it's 10.37 p.m. And I'm trying to go to bed soon. Oh my God, thank God. Someone who actually can DIY is here thank, to help. Thank God. Thank God. This would have been embarrassing for really, me. I was gonna really try, but then, <laughs> now I don't have to. Okay, do okay, you wanna hear my vision? vision? I have a good idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, this here, wait, this wait, here. Wait, wait, I need a shot, I need a shot. Okay, okay, okay. Thank God, I can go to bed now. <laughs> <laughs> and what about a trim here around the bottom? Oh my God, she's big and bad. Yeah. And then, depending on how crazy you want to get, we could do one here. Oh my god, cute! Oh my in the god. collar, the collar, the collar! Yes. 
Okay guys, we have a Christmas gift that came in the mail. This is from my lawyer. Other than my Squishmallow, my first official holiday gift of the year. Feels weighty. Feels rich. Holy shit! Whoa. That's a big candle! Oh That's luxury. my god. Sparkling rose, or rose? Sparkling rose. <laughs> okay guys, Lord just went home. Ollie and I are going to bed, but before we go to sleep, I have to tell you the craziest thing. So I went onto TikTok and I noticed I was getting a lot of random follows and tags in something. And I was like, what is going on? And all the comments were like, Remy's gonna freak out, Remy's gonna freak out. So yesterday I posted a TikTok of me. I don't think we ever went over this, but Charlie's Glamba got posted and there is none other than me vlogging for Vlogmas. And I posted me being embarrassed because how embarrassing and how dare I get in the back of Charlie, Queen Charlie's glam bot. How rude of me. I had no idea. I feel so bad for I ruined it. And I said, would you video bomb Charlie's iconic glam bot? And then E News, none other than E News. E -news. Verified E News posted. This is what I was getting tagged in. And as we all know, I tried to wink and look sexy and instead I hard blinked on my glam bot. And let me just say, I can wink well. I can go like this, ready? Oh. But the glam bot goes like this, whoosh, this so vast. Loud. And so you're like, ah, you get so nervous. And then, and it. yes, and then the guy named Cole, who's so sweet, who I'm a big fan of, was there and he was so nice. And I was like nervous in front of Cole. <laughs> so they posted my, they stitched my video that I did yesterday. And then it goes, don't worry, we've got you. And they posted my glam bot. I'm very much starstruck and I am very honored and I'm excited. So that is today's vlog. I'm gonna go to bed. I hope you guys enjoyed. I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.